All right. Um, so uh, tell me about your new album, On My Way Here. It's out uh, May 6th, right? It is. Um, and it's the first time we've done new stuff in five years, so um, it's kind of exciting. Cool. Now, um, what, what should your fans expect when they, when they grab this album off the shelves? Um, well, again, like I said, it's the first time we've done new stuff, so, it's, so hopefully, you know, I mean, kind of the exciting thing for us with this is that, you know, it's, it's stuff that's mine versus, or kind of mine, versus stuff that, um, <laughs> versus stuff that um, you know, we've just been singing other people's songs, so that's kind of a, uh, a nice thing, a nice change um, of pace for us. Uh, and um, I'm kind of excited about the fact that, you know, we, we've, found a, we've done an album that is uh, that fresh, uh, that lyrically is, is, is kind of um, thematic. We've done, we found a song called On My Way Here um, uh, about eight months ago, um, written by a guy named Ryan Tedder, who's in the group, he's in One Republic. And uh, he um, wrote this song about how, uh, about the experiences, how experiences in your life and people you meet and things that you do as you're growing up or as, as you're aging kind of make you who you are. And I thought, wow, what a great, what a great concept. Right. I wonder if we can figure out a way to like, draft that into the whole album. You know, find songs that that may um, speak to uh, the condition of people who are in twenty in their twenties trying to figure out who they are. You know, just people do a lot of growing when they hit the real world. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, um, and, and, and maybe especially. speak to that, or maybe even more specifically, more personally, try to find a few songs that that lyrically speak to exactly something that I have learned in the past five years, um, or I have experienced, and it's, it's changed me in the past five years. So, so. It's the first time we've done an album where we've really listened to lyrics more than we have to, to other things. I mean, the, music, the songs had to be great, and sonically they had to, I mean, melodically they had to be something that I wanted to sing, et cetera, et cetera. But, but, um, but lyrically, we really paid attention to it this time. Now, kind of talk about that the last five years. I mean, like you were saying, a lot of people change, you know, as they're going through life, especially from the 20s to 30s. But, I mean, for you, that's got to be magnified because you you were on that national stage on American Idol and just were kind of put up there and, you know, people instantly fell in love with you and, you know, look at all these Or at least half done. of them, a little less than half of them. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, I guess. <laughs> Um, you know, I, you know, I, it's a different, it's a different job. First of all, I mean, obviously, there's a whole bunch of changes, and, but I kind of tell people, you know, it's just a different job than you have, and it happens to be the people see me more. But you know, I think that what that there are a lot of misconceptions about it. There's a song in the, on the album called "The Real Me," and it talks about um, uh, plastic smile, don't let anybody in, and, and it talks about how um, I think I, I, sometimes I feel like people think they know who I am because of what they've seen on TV or what they've heard or what they've read, this, that, and the other, and it's not really who I am. Um, and, uh, and, and, that, and there's, uh, that's, so that, there's a song about that on there. Um, uh, I didn't even think about like, some of the other songs. <laughs> uh, someone, there's a song called Ashes about, you know, that someone told me what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger, sets you free. Talks about rising from the ashes, and, and I thought, you know, I mean, everything hasn't been rosy over the past five years. Nothing's ever rosy. If you have, if you have a blessed life and nothing's ever wrong, right. then you're probably not going to grow up to be a stronger person or as well-rounded a person than the people who've had crap happen to them. Exactly. So, um, so I appreciate those things, too. Um, I, don't, I don't like to think that... I, I don't pretend to think that the things that have happened to me are worse than have happened to other people. And I also think, at the same time, don't pretend to think that all the things that have happened to me are better than have happened to most people. Um, they're just different. Right. Uh, so, uh, so we hope that with these songs that some of them are um, interpretable. You know, I, 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 people have asked me when I've talked about the fact that some of them are, are somewhat personal to me and, and they mean this, that, or the other. Uh, I hesitate sometimes to tell which ones they are that are personal because um, I just don't want to uh, sully someone else's interpretation of the song. What one song might mean to me may mean something completely different to somebody else. Uh, and, and that's one of the great things about music, right? Yeah. And I don't want to, and and we and we've kind of in a way struggled to find that. You know, this Ashes song, to me, it just talks about experiences and and junk. Somebody else it could be a relationship, you know. To um, the real me could be, uh, you know, could be something that someone sings to their lover, to their mother, to their brother, to their, you know, to God. You know, it doesn't. It, it's all interpretably interpreted differently. Um, and I know people who thought that who've heard that song that we've done and. And I thought, oh, that's a that's a religious song, 
and plenty of people will think that. Now uh, uh, I do, and some people don't. What about what about a tour for all this? I know all your fans, you know, especially with this new album come out, are going to be clamoring to see you on stage. Is that something you've got in the works? We don't. We don't. Um, it's, it's the first time I, it'll be when I'm done with the promo for this album towards the middle of May, at least for the first run of promo. It'll be the first time I've had some time off in a time two days in a row off since. Uh, Oh, God, in a long time. <laughs> and so um, it's since October, I think. And so I'm looking forward to kind of taking a break. I haven't spent the summer in my house here in Raleigh since I've had it, and uh, I want to do that. And so we're going to take a little bit of time off. I'm sure we'll tour on it eventually, but just not right, or not, not right away. Great. And, um, you know, kind of talk about your fans. I mean, they're, you know, you were mentioning them earlier, and, you know, they're a, a big part of who you are, and you know they follow your every move religiously. I mean, w what's that like, and what do they mean to you? Um, well, it's confusing. To, first of all, I don't really <laughs> quite understand it. To be honest with you, I wouldn't follow me around. If I didn't have to. Um, and, uh, uh, but but obviously, I'm here because of them, without question. So I mean, I this wouldn't have this ride wouldn't have gone on this long had it not been for people who've been loyal and and supportive and. And so I'm, I'm extremely appreciative. We, I mean, I joke with them sometimes. We, there's some of them that we actually recognize now after um, months of, or years of, of them following us on tour. We kind of recognize faces, and we know a few names. And, and, uh, and, and we, I tease around with them that they're crazy. And, uh, <laughs> and they're okay I don't get why they like me some days still. Um, <laughs> if they can see me now, I'm sitting here in my pajamas getting my hair cut. Um, <laughs> And uh, and I'm talking on the phone, and I haven't. I don't think I'm. I haven't taken a bath or anything. I'm looking at. That's the. It's celebrity right there. There you go. <laughs> <It's> so glamorous. <laughs> e true Hollywood story. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, now, kind of, you know, you've done spam a lot, and you know, something people have been asking me is, you know, do you have any um, aspirations to do acting or anything like that? You've done some guest, you know, guest stints and everything like that. Do you want to do a movie? Do you want to do a TV series? Anything like that? Um. I I've been open, I've, we try to stay open to every single thing, mm -hmm. um, every opportunity that comes along, um, and, and that's the best that I can do. I, the reason we pick Spam a lot over some other choices that we had, or other, other opportunities and, 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 and asks, I guess, was that in addition to being the funniest show in the city and the funniest show in the country, <laughs> um, it, is, uh, it was different. It wasn't about me singing only. Right. It was more about acting and, and being, and, you know, and playing a part. Um, not necessarily because it's always been a goal of mine, but because we wanted it to be well-rounded and we wanted to stretch and try to try to do different things. Um, and I had a great time doing it. You know, I've always enjoyed doing TV stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I'm not seeking out a movie, no. No. I'm not seeking out a, um, another Broadway show either. But if the right thing comes along, great. Well, that's good to know. Um, I've got to ask you. Um, Hi, Gary. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know we only have about a minute left. All right. That's great. Um, real quick, I just wanted to ask you um, about Idol. Are you following it at all this season? Oh, my God. Don't use your question on that, Gary, because okay. I, I haven't watched it. <laughs> okay. All right. That's cool. Um, you won't get anything out of me. <laughs> one thing um, I did want to ask you is, you know, you said your fans, you know, know you well or think they know you well. What's something maybe that they – don't know about you. A few years ago, I was doing something like this, um, but it was quite, somebody had taken questions from fans and let mm -hmm. them submit their own yeah. questions. And one of them said, "You know, we know everything about you, but we don't know what your favorite color is. What is it?" Someone actually mentioned that to me, and they thought it might be green. Um, I said I would never answer the question. I said, "You know what? If that's the only thing that I get to keep to myself, then that's what I'm going to keep." Right. <laughs> well, there People we have guessed every color, I think. Yeah. Well, great. It was it was really nice to talk to you. And, you, you know, too. Thank I'm, you, Gary. I'm glad that things are going well for you, and I wish you the best of luck in the future. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great day. You too.